All right. <laughs> and they always say, that's a good question, Marvin. Yeah. The answer today is that I'm Deb Creary, and uh, we are here because this is my studio, Columbia Pike Artist Studio in South Arlington. Um, the studio is a cooperative. We've just celebrated our 30th anniversary as a cooperative studio. Uh, we have 24 artists here right now in 22 studios. Uh, this has been my studio almost all of the 30 years that Columbia Pike Artist Studio has been in existence. Um, it has been my treehouse and sanctuary, um, a place to develop ideas and to nurture ideas, but also to come back and recharge artistically. I talk like like where, what are you working on now? What's your motivation for your current effort? Well, this is the newest work that I've done. Uh, this is uh, called um, well, I thought this was their son, Isami. I'll start with this. Um, Isamu was walking across the street in Tokyo on the, the beautiful crosswalks and everybody just kind of walks, uh, you know, all uh, cattywampus, whatever the light is, red. And he, I thought this was Iku. They had given me a photograph to work with with some of the commission. And so I picked out the Iku thing. I love the everybody walks with umbrellas and all kind of color coordinated. Um, and so this wonderful, uh, slim young man walking on the street in Tokyo. Um, and so I started with uh, this, and I took this part of the image to live. She said, oh, that's not Iku, <laughs> 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 or Isamu. Um, and so it was neither one of them. And uh, I thought, okay, but I love this young man. Uh, then we started to have things happen with uh, COVID, um, and I, I moved to this piece while developing this. That this is uh, a jumping off place from some of the other earlier work, but this is uh, from New York City, um, part of uh, Chinatown. You can see some characters in here, but it's four panels flipped um, to make what I think is a prayer wheel. Um, I walk by a car in our neighborhood, and the car has one of those little prayer wheels that is driven by the sun, and it just turns around constantly. And I love the idea of, we forget that we are always in constant motion. And so this represents the constant motion. Uh, the hand comes from a mudra um, from the Golden Buddha and Nara, and that mudra is very unusual. You don't, you don't see it often, and it's, it's a mudra of peace and of uh, learning, kind of moving forward in peace, walking in peace. And then, uh, of course, just to energize the peace there. So I started on this piece in, in COVID time um, to kind of calm myself down. Mm. And so reading all of these things, I get very, um, you can't not respond. You have to respond. I thought, well, I could give up what I was doing. I was doing brightly colored things like my lotus. I'll turn this the right way. <laughs> I was doing you know, the brightly colored lotus uh, from uh, the uh, Brookside Aquatic Garden. Um, and uh, I loved those, and they were you know, peaceful and inspiring. And I thought, I cannot do that. The election happened in 2016 and I thought what am I going to do? I can't not work for four years um, because it's going to be. And it's like, and I, I was sad, I was deflated, um, I was broken in many different ways. Uh, these main trail things came from another wonderful time um, of going you know, to places, finding magical places. I left that place and started I stripped the color out of my work um, as a response. And so I thought, you know, what's going to make me feel the way I feel, but also give me some hope and have some artistic integrity from the kind of things that I'm working on. And so I uh, started with this. This is uh, from taken from the High Line in New York. And this is a building, um, it's Il Posto's building, Mario Batali's restaurant. But it doesn't appear like this, it's only that part of the building. And so again, I've done this stereoscopic weaving together of a space 
to make a more monolithic space. Um, it was in New York during Doma Day um, in front of Stonewall. This is from underneath like the scaffolding they had taken out uh, and repurposed the old stone wall in and the, the current one is next door. But I stripped all the color out and I thought, I can't just leave it like that. There's rows of flags because it was that day that the Supreme Court decided that we had the right to be married. And so um, putting that back in made me feel a little bit better. Um, it's the Masonic Temple in Philadelphia, and uh, the thing that I loved about it was nobody, there's very little craftsmanship like this in stone anymore. Mm -hmm. It is all carved stone, but the words hope turn up um, in this. And then again, another crafted um, entrance in a way. Um, and of course, uh, we left our hope to go to hell. <laughs> the title of this is Hope to Hell. Um, and I, I didn't understand it when I did it. I thought, that's pretty um, intense. Mm -hmm. But now I, now I understand why, for me, it was so intense.